Hating me. <laughs> Thank Hello, you. Hello, how are you? How are you? Hello. Yes. This Very is like beautiful. A, this is my darling, like a... Zaza. Sitcom. This is like a sitcom. Zaza, you look what so... What the hell do you have on your face? Zaza, <laughs> you look so beautiful. How do you do it? How do you do it? You I don't know. But this was a sitcom. They don't put us in the studio after you send a limo for us. Then I stopped by some outlet store. I never knew about it. Bought $2,050 uh, worth of junk, said Gucci, all that kind of thing. Where's my coffee? My dear, my dear, you look more beautiful. Your cleavage, your face, Take everything. Take off the damn mask. This is Johnny Carson. What mask am I wearing? I know I look bad, but I didn't realize it was that bad. I don't insult anyone. Zaza, you're so marvelous. Zaza, 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 your new book yeah. is so fabulous. That. And you look marvelous on the front. There's so many exciting, wonderful, wild stuff in here. Wild stories. I would say, but it's my life. Will you laugh the whole evening? Oh, my God. Zaza. Stop, stop. He's uh, laughing, yeah. Zaza. Drink some water. Drink Please. Some water. Gaga. Gaga. Zaza. 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 Jesus Christ. Gaga. They warned me for you. Jaja, have you, has any man ever left your bed unsatisfied? You are so beautiful. What a question. How do you please a man? How do you please so a man? So far, I please all my men. No, no man was ever unsatisfied. Never. Yaha. Wow. <laughs> no, did I ever kill anyone like in that, uh, that new Michael Douglas film? I know. Hey, let me ask you. Will you laugh the whole evening? There are so, there are so, there are so many women out there who see these beautiful, this is a real diamond, is it not? Of course it's real, everything I'm using, my boobs, everything. Jaja, when you, when you are with a man, uh -huh. have you ever faked an orgasm? I don't fake anything. If I have to fake, I'm not with that man. You are in love totally with any man that you are with. Well, why in the hell shall I be with a man if I'm not in love with? I don't need any. <laughs> Shut up. I don't. <laughs> I don't need anything from a man I except have, excuse a good me. lover. Ed. Oh, uh, and you, you are, make me nervous. Ed, you are going. You are going to wet yourself <laughs> if you keep it up. I apologize for him, Jean Jean. Now, Jean Jean, let me ask you this, darling. You're so marvelous. Everybody loves you. Not everybody. Have you ever had sexual feelings for another woman? Is there anything about ever, that? Ever. Greta Garbo was after me for years when I first came to America. Wow. Wow. Greta Garbo was after you. And the beautiful Greta Garbo, would this be a picture of her? Isn't she good? Isn't but she good? I was madly in love with her too, but I didn't know what lesbian is. I was just a young wife of George. Oh, God. Yeah. Please, please, Ed. Calm down, and all right? Cool it, cool it. Uh, no. <laughs> all right. So you say that uh, uh, this beautiful woman was after you, and she tried I to kiss you. I tell you how it happened. Tell me. I, George Sanders was my husband. I was about 20 years old. and never saw stars before, and I was absolutely... Oh, shoot! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Now, do you, prefer, do you prefer a man's tongue or a woman's? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know what I mean. I, you're very vulgar. No, I, Any, I never made love to a woman, no, a woman to me, but... I so when Greta Garbo came on to you, what happened? Well, what happened, she kissed me on my mouth, and I got petrified and went home. But this is long, a long story in my book, but I mean, if you laugh so much, I can't even remember. Would you shut up, Ed, because I'm going to come over there and zonk you on okay. all right? Now, please, Miss Gabor is trying to tell a story. Okay. You only laugh at what I say, Johnny. Oh, I now, you say, Jean-Jean, that, yes, um, yes, yes. that uh, this woman came on to you, and you were so frightened you left the room. No, no, no. It's a longer story than that. I, when I first met her, it was a Brian Hans. I don't know if you know, the very famous English actor in Hollywood. And Georgie Porgy, George Sanders. Georgie Porgy Sanders, excellent <laughs> actor. That's right. Georgie Porgy. Do me a favor. Feel free to smack Ed like a cop. I will. All right? <laughs> you can smack him right in the face. It's okay. You understand that? The cop aggravated me less than he does, so I might do more to him than sex. <laughs> ah, Ed, but you always laugh like that. But I don't think Ed McMahon laughs this much. I know. This is a little annoying. <laughs> but you say that uh, George Saunders, the great actor, introduced you to the he great... He was my husband. Yes. And he said to Greta Garbo, I was 20 and all these famous stars in this place, and, and I was petrified. He says, oh, Greta, the only competition I have in Jarvis Love is you. So I thought I'd go under the table. I was so embarrassed. So George later took her to her car because she always left early. And he came back and says, you don't have to be in love with her. I kissed her and she smells of the cheap soap. 
Georgia Porter. Well, there you go. I don't, I don't understand, but I love it. Now, is he still dead? George Sanders? Unfortunately, he's very dead. Jean Jean, so many women could learn from you, from your beauty. I am doing a television show now for Disney. You are doing television for That's Disney? Right. Well. <laughs> yup. Yeah. Yeah. And they just made a pilot. It looks like I'm getting the part. And it is uh, it is an advice. It's like I am a... Um, advice for women to for, please to their man, men? To man to man need so much more advice. Men don't please so well for the women. That's right. They just think they do. Absolutely. Uh, when I met Alexa on the beach, my please beautiful Alexa, wife, my yeah. beautiful wife... Are you married? Oh, yes, I am. I didn't know Oh, yes, this is my fourth wife. First, it was Jody, who I beat senselessly. She was... Uh, <laughs> and I had, um, of course, Joanna, Joanna, and now they Alexa. Were John, but the, That's right. Let me... Uh, you know why Johnny never asked me back on his show? Because I once I says, how many husbands did you have? I says, well, how many wives did you have? And he got so peeved with me because I dared to ask yes. him. And all his wives are my good friends. Well, they don't I, talk I, so highly about I'll him. I'll tell you, I banged plenty. <laughs> and uh, I don't like to bring it up on TV because it's rather vulgar. Yeah. Wacko stuff. Let me uh, ask you this. You are going, Princess Jean Jean, you will be doing a... Advice I want show? a cup of coffee. Is that possible, guys? Are you crazy? <laughs> on this show? On this, can't you afford it? Yes, we can. Let me uh, tell you something, Jean Jean. Yes, sir. Princess Jean Jean. Yes, sir. You will be giving advice to women. Do you ever recommend that a woman wear a push up bra like this? Push up bra. That is not a push up bra. Is that a push up bra? That is a push up bra. Of course, you have to wear a push up bra, guys, but this is, this is for a very fat lady who uh, forgot the belt. <laughs> a very fat lady. Your and breasts I... were never implants, were they? Are you crazy? Your Everything is natural on me. Everything is natural, yeah. <laughs> now, that what about is, this? That is not for a bra. What, uh, would it, you ever wear is... something like this on your wedding night? Would you recommend well, that for women? I tell you, if a woman wears this and wears black, shiny boots. Right. And nothing else, why not? What about, now, don't think I'm being vulgar. What about something like this? Oh. On an advice show, it's how, what do they call small. this? What it's do they call small. What too small? <laughs> What do they call this in Hungarian? I don't know. In Hungary, we don't have those. We don't need those. Have, hey, be honest with me. Were you very honest in your book? Very Did honest. you ever use handcuffs like these in your lovemaking? My handcuffs are made out of diamonds and emeralds, and I have them, actually. In lovemaking, well, a man who handcuffs you to the bed is not a good lover. I had the world's greatest lover, you who know. Who is the man that was the greatest lover? Well, everyone knows it. Porfirio Rubirosa. He didn't have to Porfigi handcuff. Porfigi Rubirosa? <laughs> who is that? Seriously, who is that? Porfirio Rubirosa. He was married to Barbara Hutton, yes. to Doris Duke, to the daughter of the president of his country. And Sanders. he was the greatest lover of all time. And I'm sure that all the ladies who look at this show will say, yes, I'm right. I see. And there are lots of women he made love. But I lived with him four years. He never handcuffed me. He didn't have to take that vulgar horrible thing of it. I see. <laughs> Zsa Zsa, as you know, this is my last show here. It is? On the Tonight oh, Show. Oh, poor That's baby, right. we'll miss you. I will I miss you, I hate the guy who takes your job. He's a big chin. I Jay hate Leno him. is a punk. I hate him. Well, he'll never replace me either because uh, I'm cannot. sure he will fail. But I, I, I must say... So. I hope so, too. Sincerely and honestly, now. I hate that guy. Well, why do you hate him so much? Because he's a <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did he <laughs> in any special way? <laughs> I was never married. I was never married to him. But I mean, when this terrible thing happened with the police, yes. this son of a bitch Made came jokes. on the air. Yes. No, not jokes. I he said he hopes that me and my husband goes back to Nazi, Nazi Germany. First of all, I'm Hungarian. Second of all, he must know that Nazis are over 45 years. And third of all, he's an idiot with a big chin. His chin is like a penis. <laughs> May I say that, Princess? I don't know. I don't know. So they're very vulgar now. Like a guy who came to the Academy on, on the Comedy Award. Let Somebody... me kiss your hand. You're so marvelous. Allow me. Beautiful, beautiful. Very I must nice, thank you. Very uh, nicely done. Jana, Jaja, Jana. Jaja Bowie. Jaja. I can see by the liver spots on the back of my hand that it's time That's for me to go. All I do, I use porcelain. Look at that son of a gun. How old are you anyhow? I'm very old. I'm a very, very old man. No, you're very young. I must tell you, Jean Jean, you look marvelous. How old are you? Is, how old am I? I'm 67 uh, years shut old. Shut up. Your own self. How oh, my, my own self? You're very young. I'm in character now, Jean Jean. This is not acting. This is acting. This is not acting. All right, acting. it's not acting. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe you know something. <laughs> Yes, thank you. This is Channel 9 acting. 
You have reached the pits of show business tonight, I tell you that. I don't think so. You have a big career ahead of you. Thank I you. Mean, everybody I in Hollywood said, you don't go on this show, he's crazy. I said, I love him. I worked with him before. My yes. press agent said, you're not going to like him. I said, I love him. Of course, I expected your beautiful hair and everything. And now you look like that boring Johnny Carr. He is a real bore, I'll tell you that. I think so. But I must tell you... I made hundred shows. In the beginning, he wasn't so boring. Yeah. Ed, this being our last show, I just want to say what a pleasure it's been working with you. Uh, yes, it's been great, Johnny. Yes, he got a golden watch. Well, I'll tell you, I've never been able to come out and tell Ed that I love him to his face, have I, Ed? No, sir, you haven't. Well, I must tell you, I cannot say that I love you, Ed, because you are such a big, ugly, fat jerk. Yeah. You know, I want to tell you one thing, my darling. Did I zing him, Jean-Jean? That's one for me. That's one. I, I heard you. That's one. I heard you. He's, he's a one. Ed McMahon is a very good friend of mine. He's a wonderful you. guy. He's a little bit cookie. He marries all this Jean-Jean, I must say something to Ed, please. If you're going to constantly drone on, I cannot say anything to Ed. What does that mean, drone on? You I, all, I always talk, don't you know? I know. That's why you wanted me, because I talk. But I'm now, trying Ed, to wrap up the show. He wants to talk to you. Okay. Look how nice it's that, I uh, got a new invention. I found a new invention. Look you at look that fabulous. Those are, those are nipple clamps, Jota. What are they? I'm telling you. Even, <laughs> a, 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 <laughs> even a train comes to a stop. <laughs> I must say that over the years working with Ed, you have been loyal and faithful. And, uh, sir, you have done whatever I have told you to do. That's why I was right. laughing That's so right. much. Yes, tonight... I had to laugh all the time. Tonight, uh, one last request before we sign off forever. I want you to do whatever I tell you to do one last time. Oh, Fine. my Fine. God. Princess, would you like him to do something before I tell him to do something? I just would like him to shut up a little bit. You would like him to shut up. Well, I tell you, I want him to shut up. Ed, I want you to kiss oh my, my bony ass one last time. But I mean really kiss my bony ass. Kiss my ass. Come over here. Come over here, Ed. And kiss my bony ass one last time. Come on, kiss it. Kiss it. Get in there and kiss it. Come on. Come on, you big Marine. Kiss it. I want you to <laughs> out with your it's enough. It's enough. Yes. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. I love it. Princess Jaja. She's marvelous. Mm. Yes. I pull my pants up. Yes. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you for your question.